you grew up watching the Bugs Bunny cartoons like me, then you might have the impression that gravity only works if you walk off the edge of a cliff and look down. But in the real world, gravity is a force that exists among all material objects in the universe and attracts them towards each other. Without gravity, life as we know it on Earth would not exist. The Earth would stop orbiting the Sun and drift in different directions. The layers of the Earth, from the atmosphere to the soil and everything down to the crust, would drift away from the Earth. Even the Moon would drift away. So thank God for gravity. To understand this better, let's borrow a beautiful analogy from the physicists Thomas van Flanden and Jean-Pierre Vigier, who explain the transmission of gravitational effects by asking us to imagine a boy floating on the surface of the sea. The boy is connected by a chain to an anchor that is holding it in place. If the anchor is moved, the chain causes the boy to move too. In turn, the boy's motion sets off waves in the water. If we translate this analogy into gravitational language, the anchor is the source mass, the chain is the gravitational force, and the boy is the target mass. The waves in the water caused by the boy's movement and induced by the motion of the anchor travel in the water and are analogous to gravitational waves. Einstein predicted that through gravity, objects actually warp the space-time around them, such that the movement of every object from a human to a supermassive black hole produces ripples in the space-time continuum. He used this analogy to explain it further. Just as a boat sailing through the ocean produces waves in the water, ripples, moving masses like stars or black holes produce gravitational waves, ripples, in the fabric of space-time. On February the 11th, 2016, David Wrights, the Executive Director of the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, reported that researchers had detected gravitational waves that were created by the merging of two black holes. This is quite an historic detection by all accounts and confirms a major prediction of Einstein's from over a hundred years ago. Just as a boat sailing through the ocean produces waves in the water, ripples, moving masses like stars or black holes produce gravitational waves, ripples in the fabric of space-time. You know, what else is interesting? The Quran linked space with water as well when it said, and it is he who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon, all in an orbit are swimming. That's right. The Quran used the word swimming to emphasize that floating in space is a lot like floating in water. So let's take a minute to appreciate this wonderful pull of nature we call gravity. Even though it often feels like gravity becomes 20 times stronger when your alarm clock starts to ring in the morning, without it, our world would quite literally be in chaos. بمعنى ان لو في نظريه العلم اثبتها بكره وانت طلعت من القران ما يثبت وبعد بكره النظريه العلميه دي طلعت غلط هتعمل انت ايه ساعتها This would be an excellent point if we were dealing with unproven or untested theories. Thankfully, as those who are educated in physics will agree, special relativity and other such foundations of modern physics are well understood and are in no danger of being disproven. Not only do we understand these to be facts, but we've harnessed them to create tools such as the GPS and magnetic and nuclear generators. The physics we present on There Is No Clash are directly connected to these highly observable results. Many YouTubers don't have scientific backgrounds and cannot differentiate between what's actually proven and what's not. Take into consideration that gravity is just a theory, but if you decide to jump from the 10th floor, rest assured, you will fall. اللي قال اننا ما ينفعش نلوي الايه عشان نفسر العلوم ولا نلوي العلوم عشان نثبت الايه، لكن لو اتفق ظاهر الايه وحط تحت كلمه ظاهر دي 100 خط مع حقيقه علميه ثابته وحط تحت حقيقه وثابته دي 100 خط نفسر الايه بالحقيقه العلميه بس We couldn't have said it better ourselves. So when you hear these things, there's no need to panic. If you want to join the conversation, we're glad to have you. Do some research, generally seek answers and join in. After all, as verse 2920 in the Holy Quran says, Say, O Muhammad, travel through the land and observe how he began creation. Then Allah will produce the final creation. Indeed, Allah over all things is competent. So discussion is not a luxury, it's not just for entertainment, and it's not to gain attention. It can be seen as a divine command. This is one of the most dangerous channels going around.